less than 158 watts and the output of our load will go up. So now we're delivering more power to the load with the Regenx generator coil. We're delivering more power with less prime mover input power consumption than was required in order to establish no load at rotational equilibrium. And here we can see the load current sine wave for the Regenx generator plug. It's delayed in the time domain by about 50 degrees. And now I'm going to place the second Regenx coil uh, on load in the prototype. Again, pay attention to this number, which is going to go down even more, and the output across the load is going to go up again. So we're violating the first law of thermodynamics, rewriting the first law of thermodynamics again. So we've increased the output through our load, the input consumption to our prime mover has gone down, now the load current delay is 90 degrees, which means that the, the um, creation of the electromagnetic field energy is, well, it's 90 degrees out of phase from the conventional coil and we are uh, basically we're operating on this part of the, the graph we've increased the kinetic energy of the system by 12 joules we're harnessing uh, we're, we require 12 joules to increase the kinetic energy and we're harnessing 12 joules of created electromagnetic field energy. So now I'm going to demonstrate the Regen X quantum motor. The Regen X quantum motor is the world's first electric motor that performs positive work, system kinetic energy increase, but it does not require any external input energy. It creates its own energy, and it harnesses its own energy, and it performs positive work with internally created electromagnetic field energy. So we've increased the speed of the system from 3,501 RPM to 3,523 RPM, and we've reduced the power consumption of the prime mover by almost 20 watts, or 20 watts I should say, and we've increased the kinetic energy of the system from two from sorry we've increased the kinetic energy of the system by 31 joules in order to do that we require 31 joules of energy uh, which is not coming from externally it's being created internally and we're we're harnessing 31 joules of created electromagnetic field energy. So once again, this is the first law of thermodynamics which you saw the Faraday generator, the conventional generator, uh, a 
adhering to. And then the first law of thermodynamics for the Regenx generator and Regenx quantum motor, the more work that we performed, the less heat was produced by our prime mover and the net change in total energy was going up. Whereas with the Faraday generator, the more work that was performed, the more heat was added to the system and the net change in the, of energy in the system was basically going down. So the law of creation of energy states that energy can and is being created at the subatomic sub quantum electron level and that created energy has been performing all the negative work in every Faraday electric generator when the, when the electrons can flow in a closed circuit, they perform negative work at infinite efficiency inside the generator and the, the negative work that they perform reduces the kinetic energy of the prime mover, it reduces the kinetic energy of all electric vehicles that are currently on the road today and the global scientific communities claim that negative work can be performed or a counter electromagnetic torque can be produced by a Faraday generator without energy is false. The truth is the energy that's required by all Faraday generators since 1834 is energy that is created uh, and it's the energy that was the it's the law of creation of energy that explains that which was originally discovered by Hans Christian Oested in 1820 when he used a created electromagnetic field energy to change the kinetic energy of a compass needle So, uh, that's it for the introduction video for the Law of Creation of Energy YouTube channel. Um, and uh, stay tuned. The next video will be uh, prototype number two. And then the third video will be prototype number three, which is the electric vehicle, uh, which... Uh, We'll be demonstrating electric vehicle regenerative acceleration. And um, one final note, um, the art that you see in the, in the video is my art. I'm a professional artist, a professional wildlife artist, and my artwork is for sale, and it's a good way to support my work. So... Thanks again for taking the time to watch this video, and we'll see you on the next one. Cheers for now.